Hi everybody, uh, thank you for joining us and uh, taking a look at this video. Uh, today we're in uh, Supambri and uh, we stopped to uh, have a look at the Kao Polak Muang Supan Shrine which we've been told is quite a picturesque place, uh, plenty of shops and restaurants. So we thought, oh well, nothing else to do, we'll go and take a look and see what we can find. We've just uh, arrived and parked the car and uh, just having a look at this map. Uh, it looks uh, quite a, a reasonable sized place. So uh, join us uh, on our uh, walk around and uh, see the place as uh, we see it and uh, hopefully we'll find something uh, of interest for everybody and uh, might give you an idea to come and visit the place yourself in the future so with that let's go well i must say the uh, entrance uh, was quite impressive uh, leading uh, off from the uh, car park and uh, I saw when I was walking up there was quite a few people taking uh, photographs on this uh, bridge that uh, crosses over a nice wa water feature so this is the beginning of it and uh, as you can uh, see already uh, there looks to be a reasonable amount of uh, shops to uh, have a look at As you can see most of the shops are in uh, Chinese style and uh, quite close together but uh, there looks uh, to be quite a, a lot of things uh, that you can purchase here and uh, surprise surprise uh, Amazon coffee uh, in the middle of it all Uh, I didn't think it would be long before the wife came and uh, wanted to photograph uh, We have a, a young Chinese couple here uh, taking uh, what look to be wedding pictures uh, You often find around Thailand uh, in parks and uh, other picturesque places that couples will come either for pre-wedding pictures or they'll come to take wedding uh, photographs after they've had the ceremony quite a few people around but uh, it's not overrun with anybody This uh, shop here looks quite an interesting place. Uh, it appears to be uh, mainly uh, furniture. So I'd like to go and have a look around and uh, see what they're actually uh, making and uh, see what they're selling. A lot of it uh, appears to be uh, made of uh, bamboo. Surprisingly in uh, Thailand you'll find many shops where they make various bits of furniture and utensils with bamboo and uh, for the amount of uh, labour that goes into these things they make uh, the actual price that you pay is quite reasonable
Well, I must say this is a, a very interesting shop uh, and uh, quite a few quality items. Uh, but nothing really I want to buy today, so we'll carry on walking through and uh, see if there's any more surprises for us. So am I. <coughs> and uh, more food items for sale I can honestly say on uh, all these places that we go to uh, you're never going to be short of uh, something to eat uh, there's always plenty on offer <coughs> nice uh, feature uh, water wheel appears to be working Now oh, this uh, looks quite interesting, uh, there appears to be a, a Chinese tavern but uh, it won't be the same taverns that we're uh, familiar with in uh, Europe. Thai band there getting ready to start a performance for this afternoon's crowd. So here we are, uh, time to uh, enter the shrine itself and uh, my first impressions are that it uh, is uh, quite a large area and uh, it is very very bright and colourful so it looks very very interesting and the only way that we're going to find out what's here is to go and have a look Here we have the uh, first view of the dragon which uh, protects the Chinese Descendants Museum. Uh, I have heard that for Thai citizens it's uh, a 40 baht entrance fee and uh, for uh, foreign tourists it's uh, 400. So sadly uh, I won't be visiting inside. Absolutely fantastic display of red lanterns absolutely beautiful there are a few people around in the shrine today but uh, not that many
Well, I think it's uh, time to actually go into this uh, room uh, within the shrine. And uh, as you can see, the uh, entrance to it is highly decorative. Uh, really vibrant colours. And it, it must take hours to do these things. And uh, I don't think that many people really appreciate the amount of uh, hours work that goes into these places. Shrine here to uh, pay respect. And again, more decorative pillars, and uh, when you get close up to them, you can see the intricacy of the work. It's uh, hours and hours of uh, just standing there with a very, very small brush and uh, applying the finer details. the smaller shrine there beautiful elephants I mean when you look at these carvings uh, both on the markets and within temples I mean the amount of hours of work that's actually spent um, in actually producing them and what they actually sell for is uh, quite remarkable I mean, when you look at these uh, the wall uh, paintings, I mean, the amount of detail is uh, outstanding. I'm always uh, intrigued by these uh, painting plots. Uh, I'm not sure whether they're actually uh, a plaster base that's been lacquered and uh, painted over the top or uh, whether it's some other kind of material. I'm not really sure. I must find out one day. I think you'll agree with me, this uh, room here has a, a very peaceful and tranquil look about it. Very uh, soothing and uh, very calming.
say that was uh, a very interesting room and uh, I don't know about you but I found it very interesting uh, the colours are absolutely outstanding and the carp fish there very very traditional uh, Chinese and Japanese uh, fish Well, I think it's time to go and uh, have a look around the grounds and see what we can see there. This area here with the uh, tall candles is uh, another part of the shrine where people uh, come and light uh, candles uh, for respects. fantastic doors wax that's actually in the tray there you can just see and imagine how many candles have been burnt there over a period of time figures. I'm uh, informed that some of these uh, taller figures here uh, relate to something to do with Kung Fu but uh, I haven't confirmed that but uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Highly decorative again. I don't know whether they're actually poured into a giant mold or whether they're actually carved. Not really sure. And the grounds here are uh, very, very clean and uh, tidy. Uh, with most places, uh, the similar style. You, you never find a lot of rubbish on the floor. They're normally kept very, very clean. And uh, here we have the uh, housing for the giant bell. big enough striking hammer but uh, I think I'll pass on it today and again a uh, view there of the impressive dragon protecting the museum And uh, here we have a selection of more uh, sitting figures. Uh, sadly, the writing is all in Chinese and I don't really understand it. But uh, as I said before, they'll all have some significance for the uh, Chinese people. 
uh, but uh, sadly I don't know what that significance is. Well this uh, brings us to the end of our walk around the uh, Chinese shrine and uh, I have hoped you've enjoyed uh, seeing it as I see it. If you've uh, enjoyed the video and uh, would like to see more of my content uh, please press the notification bell and uh, subscribe to the channel it uh, is very very much appreciated so with that thank you very much for joining us and uh, I hope to catch you again on the next one